everybody, my name is Mary Ann. Welcome to another episode of Create on the Go, brought to you by Create District 6 in Sacramento, and welcome to my studio. So over the past few months, I or several months, I have been bringing some videos about how to do art projects and create fun things using relatively inexpensive supplies and things that you have around your house. And today we're gonna do the same thing. A few weeks ago, if you checked out our YouTube channel or, or our Create Facebook page, I uploaded a video on how to create fun, exciting art using just scraps and different things that you had around the house that you might throw away. And we just had a lot of fun doing that. I had a lot of fun and I kept working on them and did some fun, great stuff using some scraps of paper. Today, we're going to do something else using relatively inexpensive supplies and things that you can find around the house. Today, we're gonna to paint on rocks. That's right, rocks. You know, people have been painting on rocks. Artists have been using rocks as a surface to paint on since for thousands of years, rock painting has been um, part of the art world. But recently, um, rock painting has taken on a whole new life and people are doing some incredible stuff painting on rocks. And sometimes you can go to the park or different places and you can find little, little nuggets and paintings that people have done and it's just so much fun. So I thought you might enjoy um, doing that with me today and I'll give you a few of the tips that I have learned that have helped me uh, make it a little bit easier. So first let's talk about the supplies. So obviously you're going to need um, some paints, different paints. Now you can get acrylic paints in these smaller tubes at the craft and art store. You don't have to go out and buy great big tubes unless you start doing more and more and more um, rocks and you want to invest in some of these really mega large tubes of paint, which I do because I do a lot of painting. And you're gonna need different uh, size paint brushes, a large, uh, medium, and um, fine tip paint brushes to do your detail work with. You're gonna need some cups of water, a rag, a piece of white paper, just um, regular paper, maybe just copy paper, a pencil, and Another thing that you're going to need that's really helpful is some sort of medium or white inexpensive acrylic paint or gesso to put on the surface of the rock to seal it. And you're going to want to put several layers of that because rocks are really, really porous and you don't want to just start right off the bat uh, with color uh, because the rock will just absorb it. So start by putting uh, several layers of white on the rock and sealing that surface. So the other thing that I recommend is some sort of um, varnish that you can take this outside, you know, put it something on the surface of where you're gonna paint and spray your rocks with this to keep them um, from the weather and whatnot uh, chipping the paint. Because if you, you may um, have them placed outside and you wanna try to preserve them as long as you can. So um, you can spray them with something like that and it'll help seal the paint and keep it from uh, the elements. Uh, what else have I forgotten? Oh yeah, you're gonna need rocks. So you might have a friend that's clearing out some landscape, that's cleaning out a flower bed and they have some rocks to get rid of because what are they gonna do with them? You know, they have all these rocks. But you can also purchase rocks at the landscape store or the hardware store. Um, so I was fortunate because my daughter-in-law was trying to clear some rocks out of her front yard that she had had in there because she was trying to get the grass to grow. So I asked her if I could pick up some of those rocks and take them home and she was generous enough to say yes. But what I want to challenge you to do is to pick up rocks that have interesting color and shape and texture. Now I picked up this rock because it reminded me, and I'll show you in a minute, of a certain animal. You can look at it, maybe you can see that. I picked up this rock because it reminded me of a certain shape and had a certain texture. And then this rock I haven't started painting on, but I am going to do something interesting with this two-tone. 
I don't know what yet. I haven't decided, but I'm, I like to challenge you because I like to challenge myself and challenge our creativity to um, not just pick up the rock and say, oh, I'm gonna, gonna paint blah, blah, blah on this. No, look at it and ask the rock, what are you? What can I paint that um, that is um, true to the shape and the texture of this rock? So here's what I came up with for today. So I picked up this rock and if I turn it over, there was this interesting crevice on it. See this crevice? I haven't quite done, got done painting it yet, but it reminded me of a, a mouth, a sad mouth. But I decided I was gonna turn it upside down and make it a happy mouth. So I've started painting that one. So let me turn this down because I can uh, show you one other thing that I would, tip that I would suggest. I always take my piece of paper and I do some sketching ahead of time. So I trace the rock. As you can see, I trace the shape of this rock here. Hopefully you can see that. And I shape, t trace the shape of this rock that reminded me of a tortoise. And then after I, I traced the outline of the rock, I um, sketched in what I'm going to paint on them. So then it's a lot easier when I start painting, um, I can use that as a reference. Pretty easy. And I need to work on this face a little more, but it's starting to take shape. And sometimes you have to do um, different layers. Can you see that? Sometimes you have to do different layers. Like I started with the black around the eye and then I had to let that dry so I could put the white highlights in. Another tip is like on my tortoise, I've started doing the um, outline of the shapes on the tortoise's shell with a, mark, uh, a fine tip marker. And um, so then when I take my paint, I can just fill in these and put his little face on and his little feet and his little tail and I will have a fun tortoise there. So yeah, it's a, another relatively inexpensive, easy to do, fun project. Kids love to do them. And so there you go. Go paint some rocks, have some fun, be creative, create something, use your imagination. It's fun, it's fulfilling, and it brings joy to you and a lot of the people around you. So there you go. And thanks for tuning in. You can um, watch more videos and, and interviews, uh, create in the know interviews with artists, guest artists. You can also see more create on the go ideas for different projects that you might want to do on our Create District 6 YouTube channel and Facebook page. So I hope you'll follow us and like us. And I just appreciate you all. And I appreciate you all spending some time with me today. Thanks. Bye-bye.